We have been trying not to do as many Elon Musk stories, but this guy Blah. just keeps showing up in the news. Um, this is very timely. Musk's SpaceX says it can no longer pay for critical satellite services in Ukraine, asks Pentagon to pick up the tab. And this is an interesting story. I think it was very cool early on when, and I actually thought the U.S. government was paying for it anyway. I didn't realize that the um, Starlink services were being donated by, by Musk, uh, which is pretty cool. However, it's coming to an end. The thing about this article that really stands out to me is they talk about how the operation has cost SpaceX $80 million and will exceed $100 million by the end of the year. Again, shocked that SpaceX is covering that, but very, very cool. But they're asking the Pentagon to cover it now, and they say it would cost more than $120 million for the rest of the year and could cost to $400 million for the next 12 months. So I'm not sure why it would cost SpaceX $20 million for till the end of the year, but it'll cost the U.S. government $120 million through the end of the year. But uh, John, Peter, and I will talk about it on today's Not So Critical Update. What is going on here, guys? I don't know. I don't know. Did you see the tweet about it though? Just before we, you know, dig into the details, the one where um, you know uh, Musk uh, suggested a, a solution to the war by saying that um, Ukraine should give away Crimea, and yeah. then um, <clears throat> and the four um, other recently taken over regions that are being yeah. fought over. Yeah, uh, and then um, there was an official response from the from the U Ukrainian uh, government, which said, uh, "Fuck off." Yeah. Um, and then, and then someone talked about the 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 Starlink thing that they're not going to fund it anymore, and uh, uh, Elon Musk retweeted that as a reply to the comment saying, right. "Just doing what we're told." Uh, just doing what we're told. Just following our the advice to fuck so, off. So, a little bit of background on this, because basically what he's saying is just doing what I'm told because the guy told yeah. him to fuck off, so he's fucking off. Oh, is what he's yeah. saying. okay, got it. But yeah. Uh, a little bit of background here. So it's been it's been revealed that like a week before Musk made this poll on Twitter suggesting peace, aka letting Russia take huge portions of Ukraine. Um he spoke to Putin and to the Russian government. So like super Man. sketchy. A week before he speaks to them, and then all of a sudden, Starlink starts getting turned off in these fake annexed regions. Um, and now he's doing this poll where he's like trying to change the opinion of what's actually happening, and then he doubles down and says, We can't afford this. But really, Starlink and Musk have not actually eaten that much of the cost. At the beginning, when they donated this gear to Ukraine, they already went to the U.S. government and were like, we need you to pay for a lot of it. So all these numbers really? that he's throwing out, yes. So all these numbers that he's throwing out, he's just basically, I, I honestly think Musk will always do what's best for his pocket and say whatever is best for his pocket as a gigantic capitalist. That's really the bottom line. So if let's say Russia offers him a deal that he can somehow navigate even with the sanctions, he'll fucking jump on that. He doesn't give a shit about it's anything true. besides money <laughs> in his pocket. Yeah. To, to Musk, uh, casual market manipulation is just another uh, Friday morning. So yeah, it's just yeah. another Tuesday with him. Like he he doesn't care, and the fact that he's even getting involved, being like doing a pull of should Ukraine oh, give up their land like you have no first off you have no right to even Should we just let that. russia win right <laughs> yes or no um when ukraine is clearly winning yeah should, shouldn't they just like just give it you know like and then also the man has huge influence over people's opinions so like when he does things like this it's it's it really is a terrible image for who he mm. is as a person 
Yeah, it's weird. It's not going to win Peter over. Say. No, I, I don't know. I'm just tired of him. It's just so, like all these machinations and this kind of like, oh, market manipulation. It's like, so like exhausting. Like, okay, I, 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 at the, at the point where like if he was trying to manipulate me into giving him money, I'd be like, yeah, just take the money. Just shut up. Like have the money. I have all of my money. Just stop this. Like, I never have to do it again. Yeah, really. Like, I, I don't know. At some point, it just becomes, it's like a game that they're playing to try and get more money. They've got so much already. And, you know, it reminds I sorry, I was watching a, a TV show recently called Industry, which is... Mm-hmm. Um, I like that show. Uh, I, <clears throat> oh, you know it. Okay, right. So yeah. it's uh, yeah. it's all about like, a um, you know, traders in, in London and the, the games that get played and, and how they make money and all this stuff. And it just seems like... There's one character in the second series, which is um, uh, James Bloom, I think his name is. And he um, is a billionaire because he bet sort of against or for the pandemic or something. Like he called it before the pandemic happened and made a bunch of money and was, you know, made billions from it. And uh, and then there's this big kind of thing at the end where he ends up making a whole bunch of money, playing both sides against each other and uh, doing this kind of clever stuff. And it's all like, ha ha, he's a super genius. I just think like, oh my God, I'd rather just not be part of that world at all in any way it's just so i don't want to live like that <laughs> another <laughs> show that does pretty much the same exact thing just u.s side is billions oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 i think totally billions has jumped shit yeah yeah it jumped the shark at some point yeah. i don't know i kind of liked the yeah. new guy after axe left oh really yeah 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 i'm not a fan pretty good. i stopped watching no. first michael, episode uh, i was like what's the name, michael I don't remember. Dar, Storks, Prince. Strong. Prince. Oh, Prince. Prince. I was close. Yeah, Prince. Prince. Yeah, so close. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And Peter, anyway. I, yeah. Go ahead, John. Sorry. I was just going to say that it's it feels like you're totally right it's with the industry TV show and, and also Billions ties into that as well, the TV show that like these guys are, have zero care. Like, yeah. And Elon is living flesh of that. Like, he'll do whatever and whenever, no matter how many lives it affects to make. Yeah. That's the thing. Um, People are dying. You know, this is real shit. It's not. uh, So like he made it, you know, he, he painted this picture at the start of the Ukrainian war where he was like, uh, here, I'm such a saint, have all these starlings. And then he turns around he's like, but actually don't. And also pay me a hundred million dollars plus to, keep you guys connected so it's like why even help like you're just well out of- it's it's a truism that that um war is good for the economy right it, it's uh people always yeah, make money out thing, of war sure. right and and maybe that's just what's happening you just saw an opportunity to like get in there be part of the a hundred percent war machine and like uh, probably the the difference in uh, to answer your original question, Mike, about what's going on there with the price difference, like why would it cost more for the Pentagon to run? Because he'll make a profit. <laughs> He's going to charge. Was, a- I read. I read he marks up four x <clears throat> for U.S. government contracts versus like private industry. Bye. What do you think, I'm, Mike? I'm still tempted to give him credit for the initial gesture. It was important to the Ukrainian war effort, even if it's not indefinite. It's lasted for a long time. However, I also fully agree that Musk is a giant douchebag who should just shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I'm glad he's getting, well, I guess it's mixed. I'm kind of glad he's getting forced to buy Twitter. On the other hand, he's going to own Twitter and God only knows what's going to oh happen then. Oh my God. That's, uh, I don't, I'm not looking forward to that. I like Twitter. I the, uh, yeah, someone's going to have to make a replacement. <laughs> I know. The funniest yeah. response uh, I saw to uh, Musk help, helping uh, Ukraine was if you if you want to help, why don't you just send them a sub they didn't ask for and call them pedophiles? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so call back to that uh, cave, cave incident. Yeah, that uh, was funny. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. um, I guess we'll see how it plays out. I think it was. I I think that's still my conclusion. It was a. I think it, I'm glad that he did it up front. It was the right thing to do. It was a good thing to do. Is it now fucked up now? I yes. don't know. 